Hello, it's Marco here from Mark on 3D. And in this video, we're going to kind of be creating these clouds doing a little bit differently. So let's jump over into a new blend file. Let's start off by deleting that default cube. Shift A. Let's go into the volume and I'm going to add in an empty volume. So we've kind of got this volume thing that you can't see up the top here. So let me just bring that down. There we go. So we've got an empty volume. From here, I'm just gonna go Shift A, add in a meta ball and add some balls in. And let's just kind of go Shift D, blank. And just gonna kind of build up a cloud. Probably, we could probably select all these now though. Um, Control J, will that work? Nope. Convert to mesh, there we go. I'm just gonna rotate that around just so we kind of got a flat bottom. The other thing that I'm gonna do is Grab this area down here, turn on proportional editing up the top. That's the wrong button. Or I can press O, scale, Z. And I just want to kind of flatten out the bottom. From here, we come over into our objects listing, click volume, and we come down into the modifiers, add modifier. We've only got two modifiers. So we want mesh to volume. And so we're gonna click this. So now this object becomes our volume. From here, let's add in our volume displace. I'm pretty sure that it's right. Um, let's create a new texture. Since we're gonna making be since we're gonna be making clouds, let's add in a cloud. And you can see that we've already started getting that jazz uh, size depth. Maybe I'm just gonna go one. Doesn't look right. Let's jump over into our meta ball that we just created, so our mesh. I'm going to add in a displace modifier on this just to kind of give it a little bit of extra jazz. From here, I'm gonna press these two line things on the end. Let's go new texture. Let's give it a cloud. I keep pressing the wrong one, cloud. And you can see that it's kind of all bounced up. Um, let's go one, one. There we go, so that's looking nice and soft. From here, what I'm going to do is click on the filters button. Oops. Is click on the filters, filters button and add the disable in viewport and disable in render. And I'm just going to hide these three, but you can still see that we've got our cloud. So with the volume selected, I'm going to come up to the top into shading. Let's go new material. Principal volume is what we want. Let's just go into rendered view. We don't really see much. So let's go ahead and add in, let's do a HDRI. And what we'll do is we can render a transparent background. So from here, I'm gonna go object world. Let's go shift A and add in a environment texture and we'll plug that puppy in. Let's click open and we're gonna add in a HDRI texture that comes with Blender. So the way it works is it is the Blender Foundation, Blender, well, whatever you saved it as or installed it as, it'll be under Blender, Blender 2.9, Blender 2.9, oh gosh, Data Files, Studio Lights, World, and I'm going to use High Rise City. There we go. Now I don't wanna have the city in view behind me. So what I can do is come over here into the render settings and we will go down to film and I want background transparent just so I can see our cloud. Uh, from here, let's just get rid of that light. We are in Eevee. So let's just jump over into cycles and hopefully now we've got a wonderful la fluffy cloud. So that's just another way of creating a clouds. Um, we could obviously play with the materials a little bit more. Let's go into object density. I'm gonna change this to maybe 0.9-ish. Um, and from here, we can always go with the volume selected into the materials. Now this voxel amount is, you know, if you've done smoke simulations, kind of like the amounts of little boxes, we can probably go up to 128. And we can see that's not too bad. It gives us some nice, good shape. And then obviously what we could do is we could play around with mesh a little bit more to get a nicer cloud. So the way I did the previous one is I had both of these selected. Whoops, so they're hidden. 
Darn it, Marco. Let's go back into layout. Unhide these. I had both of them selected. Shift D. And then I kind of just rotate into a different position. Uh, let's go scale on the Y. Something like that. Um, we will hide all our mesh now. And you can kind of see how we've done all this. Is that going to work? Nope. You got to select the mesh. So let's select this one and we'll go G. Wrong one, Marco. Come on, buddy. It's this one here. And then we can kind of just move them around and you can lay out the clouds. Now, alternately, alternatively, what you can do as well is we could actually just do a render of a trans of the cloud and make like a transparent plane. And then we can kind of just throw a whole bunch of our own planes into the space. So for instance, if I went to camera view, rotate X, 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 rotate Z, G, Z, Z. I'm just going to bring the camera back. Let's quickly go to GPU performance 512. And if I were to press F12 and wait, and there's our cloud, which we can now save and we can re-import into Blender and reduce those render times. So we're not rendering volumes. So if you found this little, I'm uh, pretty sure a short video uh, helpful, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out and keeps updating my content. I don't know what I'm doing. It's, it's quarter to 12 at night. So one last thing as well, I do have a secondary channel where I'm creating all my animations, all my short films, all my terrible dad jokes are up there. <laughs> Make sure you go over, subscribe, check some of them out. We've got Talking Chicken. We've got guest appearances from, uh, who have we got? Like Paul Kagegi, Curtis Holt, Arendale, uh, Trillo. So make sure to jump over there, hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to do weekly short films. And one of the big projects I'm currently working on is a massive pod racer sci-fi film. So go over and check it out. Yeah.